Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to talk about a hook I created. It's for the admin side of the website. Basically adds a left admin menu option similar to the old OS Commerce. I've added it for a few of my customers and as a result I figured I'd share it here. So this is going to be a really quick video just to kind of show you how to install it and give you a real brief explanation as to how it works. So I've got it. I will be adding it to the Phoenix add-ons website and I'll put a link to that in the video description. If you haven't watched my hooks getting started video, you should probably go watch that before watching this. It'll just give you a little bit of backstory on how to create hooks and use your template system. So I'll also put a link to that in the description. So I've got the file, the zip file here. If I open that, so just to give you a little bit of history, the admin menu was switched to go across the top uh, a, a while ago. Some users prefer it down the left. Me, I like it at the top. It's, it's not an issue for me, but I'm not used to the old OS Commerce being down the left. So this is just gonna give us an option where we can toggle between the two for whichever screen that we're on. So I've unzipped that and I've, I'm just gonna copy that. So I'll just paste that into the tree. So the file that it actually creates is templates, override, includes, hooks, admin, site-wide H menu. Now for this to work, you're going to have to choose to enable your override template. If for some reason you don't want to do that, then you can copy this into the default includes hooks admin site-wide folders. That doesn't normally exist in there. Now, eCarts suggested that this is a fluke that this works. It wasn't intended to necessarily work within the admin to have hooks inside the template like this. It does work for now. This could also be added to the includes hooks shop or sorry admin site-wide H menu so this is where the actual H menu resides in the core so we could replace this file but then we're making core changes so what I've done is try to figure out how can I add this new H menu in there without affecting the core and so when I discovered that adding it to the template system under the admin hooks folder works, I stopped looking for another method. So for now that does seem to work. Now what I did, I'm not going to go through writing this uh, hook in this tutorial. It is a fairly large hook. What I basically did is left the original code in the file. I added some styling and then added a cookie that will essentially remember our choice if we want the left or the top menu. It will default to the top menu and, and as a result every time you log into the admin you're going to see the... I'm just going to take a quick look here. You're going to see the uh, top menu. Now there is an option in here where you could change this to default to 2 and so what that would do is that would actually default the menu to the left menu. So if it was something that you were finding that you were using all the time and you wanted to stick with the left menu, you could simply change that default to two and it would default to the left menu. Basically, again, I just copied that file in there. By doing that, it should already be working because it's a hook. So if I just refresh, you'll notice there's this down arrow over on the left. And if I click the down arrow, it shows me a left menu. And at this point, I can click into whichever area I want, and that left menu will stay there. If I want the top menu again, I simply click the up arrow, and it switches back to the top. So it's basically just a toggle back and forth. So again, I'll put a link to this add-on in the video description. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got lots more videos coming, so thanks for watching, and until next time.